Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am uh, going to present you my uh, makeup kit. Okay, I will start by showing you all my palettes, mm -hmm. all I have. And the palette I'm going to start is this one from Huda Beauty, is the remastered rose gold palette. This is how it's, it looks like inside. I have this palette for about two months and I bought this palette from Sephora and I really like it. It was for about 65-64 euros and I think it's a great palette. Okay, next. Uh, I have uh, this palette from uh, Morphe. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, let me show you. This is how it, look, it looks like in the inside. I really like it. I mean the transition shades are amazing. Also the highlight um, shades are also so so amazing. Okay, next. I will put this aside because I don't have any room here. The next palette that I have, that I have is this one from NYX. This is the Ultimate Shadow Palette. And I have the Warm Neutrals. This is how it looks like in the pan. I uh, had I have this palette for my sister. For my sister, he bought me this palette uh, for my birthday, and I really like it. I use it also so so much, and I like the shadows. I like how they perform on my clients. Okay. Next, I have four palettes. Huh. There are five palettes, and I need only one to be completed in the family. I have the first one that is called New Delicious. Okay, this is how. Okay, I the only issue that I have with those palettes, with these palettes, uh, is the um, I don't know how to say it. The black uh, eyeshadow, uh, it's so I don't know bad pressed. I don't know how to say it, but uh, I don't know if you can see that it's all it's broke. I mean, all of them are broke. This is how it looks like in the inside. I really like this palette. It has every oh, nude tone that you could actually need. The next palette that I also like from the Boys and Burbies 4K eyeshadow palette. This is how they... Uh, yeah, 4K Pro eyeshadow palette. is the Sunset Beach one. And also, I don't have the black eyeshadow because it's broke. Also, it's broke. Okay, this is how it looks like in the inside. Next uh, is the Myra Slave one. I will try to move it fast. Also, the black it's gone, and this is how it looks like. It has uh, some um, cool, cool tones. It's I don't know if you can see. It's this one, and this purple also is very cool to a uh, cool tone. I really like this palette. This is my favorite from all four. Then the last one is the Crushed Berries palette, and. This is how it looks like in inside. Also, I don't have the black because I, how I already told you. Okay, it's broke. Next, um, I have this palette from Kat Von D. It's the 10th anniversary eyeshadow palette. I really like this one. I mean, come on, guys. Actually, it, I think it's one of my favorite ones. I am not very sure, but I really like this palette. And this is how it, lo it looks like in the inside. How you can see, it's amazing. I really like it. And I think it's one of her best eyeshadows. I mean, I tested in Sephora so many eyeshadows from her. And this is the only one that really impressed me. I mean, I really like this one. And the formula for the eyeshadows is great. I mean, it really is. Next palette is this one. This is a um, palette. This is a magnetic palette that I... Uh, personalize myself. This, um, these eyeshadows are from Melchior, most, most of them, no, uh, but these three are not from Melchior, these are from NYX. I really like this palette, I mean I use these, uh, these eyeshadows um, so much when I start uh, this uh, makeup uh, trip, if I can say it like that, and I really enjoyed their eyeshadows, but I discovered in time that they are not so uh, great as quality, meaning, I mean, they perform well, not very, very good, but they actually can do 
well but I discovered that they are not, I don't know, they, they do not resist so much on the eyes. Even I've used the best eyeshadow um, primer that I have. So I don't know. I like them. I still use them, but not so often that I use the, the other ones. Okay. Next, I have these two palettes from Huda Beauty. These are, these are the mini palettes. I have the Huda Beauty Electric Obsession and Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. These are the first mini palettes that she came out, that she uh, came first. And I really like this eye these mini eyeshadows. I and also, this is a very great palette. I use this palette a lot and I really like it. They are not patchy, they blend beautifully. And honestly, I really, really like them. I mean, I use both of them a lot. Okay, next. I don't think I have... Yeah, two, two, two more to go. Okay, the next one is this one from MAG. It's the Pretty Punk one. Unfortunately, I did not use so much this palette. I've used this shadow and this shadow a lot. But the other ones are... I, I'm not saying that I do not like this palette. I really like it, but I do not have so many time to play with this. This eyeshadow I remember uh, palette. I remember that I bought this from Doha, Qatar, because I was there when when I, I was traveling to Maldives, and we actually had to stay a lot in, in the on the airport. And we, I mean, I have the idea to I don't know hang out from the, uh, in uh, in the airport and we find the duty free and I bought this and I really like it but I how I said I do not have so much time to play with this one okay next palette that I have is I will present you both are this one from uh, Anastasia this is the sorry this is the modern renaissance one and this is the prism palette this was a limited edition from christmas i think last year i i do not remember very well but i think that uh, this was uh last year this is how the modern renaissance renaissance looks like and um i use this palette i mean i really like it not all the shades i mean this brown even if it's so used I think it's a little bit too patchy for my taste. I mean, it looks like very, I don't know, I could not blend this color, even I've tried. I mean, I don't know, maybe the formula formula wasn't so great, I don't know. But the, the rest of the shadows, I really like it. I mean, it has everything you need. Okay, and this palette, I really like it, but the only thing I think... I do not use it so much because I already have almost every color in this palette. The face powder that I use and I use them a lot on my clients. Okay, I am going to start with the loose powder and the loose powder I, I'm using a lot is this one from RCMA No Color Powder. Okay, next, I am uh, from, for, for highlighter I use this palette from Sleek. This one, this one is the Solstice one. And this is how it looks like in the pan. I don't know if you can see it. I think that my light is too light. <laughs> okay. And the other one is this one from Anastasia. It's the Glow Kit Sugar. And also I've used this a lot. And you can see that these two, I've used them a lot. Okay. For blush, I have three blushes that I use. And the first one is this kit from Anastasia, is the Radiant one. And this is how it looks like. This I've used a lot and I really like it. It has the, the perfect amount of pigmentation. Okay. And then, this is this I purchased uh, just a few days ago. This one, this is a blush from uh, Gero Vital Beauty. And I really like it. It's a peachy one. And it's amazing. It's so pigmented. I, I actually wear it right now and I really like it okay uh, next I have this one from NYX this is also a peachy one this is the color amber this is the high definition blush this is for contour contour I am using this palette from Calvon D shade and light and how you can see I've used this uh, palette a lot this is a great great um, contour palette I really recommend it 
okay and for bronzer I am using this bronzer from Physicians Formula this is the BB bronzer okay this is all I use uh, when we talk about uh, eyeshadow palettes and contour palettes and highlighter palettes uh, okay. I will start from here because here I have some products for eyeliner I only use one eyeliner and I am using this one from Inglot. This is the 77 one and this is the best um, eyeliner that I use for about three years and I don't want to change it and I don't want to buy a lot of uh, eyeliners because if I have if I have one that it's good I don't need another one. Okay for Eyelash adhesive, I mean the glue that I use for eyeshadow, it, this is this one from Atelier Paris. This is the best that I that I actually found. I also tried the duo one, but I do not like it so much. Okay, uh, for uh, eyebrows, I use only this pomade from Inglot. I have three shades in here. Like that, okay. I use the 21, the 50, 15, and the 17. This is all that I use, and also if the client have the perfect brows and I do not have to do so many things on her, I use this um, kit from NYX. This is the uh, eyebrow cake powder, and the color I use is the brunette one. Okay, and as eyeshadow primer, I only use two eyeshadow primers and I've used this one from Inglo, this is the eyeshadow keeper and this one from MAC, this is the paint pot in the color soft ochre. This is only what I use, actually I don't think I have another one, no, I don't. Okay, this is all I have as bases, ah, and I just remember, I use also this... Uh, Duraline from Inglo. This is the mixing liquid, and I've used this. I use this with the uh, Inglo uh, gel liners just because they tend to dry very quickly, and I need something to make them more watery. And also, I don't know if you know, but this is very good to make your products waterproof. I mean, um, I used to use this um, this Inglot mixing liquid in my foundation to make them waterproof and this really works, I mean it's amazing you can try it ok, then I will uh, I will start with the skincare I don't have so many products the first product that I use for moisturizing the face I'm using this cream this is the uh, super moisturizing emollient cream from Gerovital. This is a very nice cream for dry skin. Okay, then I am using this cream for um, as from eyes and lips. This is the Asla Vital Lift Instant Intensive Control Lift Cream Eyes and Lips. This is a very nice cream for the under eyes. I really use this on my clients. Another cream that I use, but I only use this cream for the persons, I mean the clients that have oily skin because this is a um, purifying serum control cream. I mean this is the cream that you have to use if you want to control your um, oiliness of the skin. Okay, then I have this uh, sh uh, soothing and regenerating mask cream. This is a mask and a cream. You can wash your face after this, but you can also leave it just like that. But you have to really take uh, take take your time with this uh, uh, cream because if you apply it, you have to let it for about twenty to thirty minutes to sink uh, sink into the skin. Okay. And the last uh, product that I have for skin here is this oil. This is an oil from The Ordinary and this is the Virgin Marula oil, 100%, I mean it, it has only 100% Marula oil and I really like this oil, I mean it makes your skin so glowy and I also like to mix this uh, oil with foundations if I have a dry skin. Okay, for primers I use these three primers, I use this one from The Ordinary, this is the high adherent silicone primer and I've used this only for uh, oily and mixed, mixed uh, skin. Also I have this high spreadability fluid primer from The Ordinary and okay. I've used this only for the persons that are very dry 
or they have um, normal to dry skin if I could say like that okay and the last one is this one from from MAC prep and prime and this is the skin based visage this is a primer that is very good for oily to mixed normal skin we will start with concealers and I have a few here the first one that I discovered and I really like is this one from uh, Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and I only have one shade and that shade is Vanilla. I've used a lot of the Catrice uh, Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. I really like this concealer and how Tati was uh, actually saying this is a great concealer. I mean... I know that it's drugstore and we do not uh, have any drugstore product in our kit. No, that is not true because we can find drugstore products and really like them and include them in our uh, in our kit. Okay, uh, then I use this one from Makeup Forever. This is the uh, Full Cover Extreme. This is the this is a corrector and I have the shade, I think it's Flash. So I have three foundation from the Studio Fix line and I have the NC15, NC20 and NW35. I do not use them so much, I don't know why, but I don't. And I also have the Pro Longer when, uh, one and I have the NC30 which is full and NW20 which is almost... Uh, empty okay other I have this one from Fenty Beauty okay and I also like this foundation this is the Estee Lauder stay in place uh, foundation and this is the greatest greatest foundation on earth I okay this is the the perfect foundation for me and I I think that this and these ones are the great. I don't know if I need any foundation in my kit, but you know how I, how I am. I test a lot of foundation. Maybe I maybe I will find another one that it's also so great. And I have some foundation from the drugstore, uh, but I do not use it so much on my clients. I have this one for Maybelline. This is the 24 hour super stay foundation, full coverage foundation. I have this one from Wet n Wild. This is the photo focus foundation. I have this foundation from the, uh, Physicians Formula. This is the healthy foundation. Also, I really like it. This is the another foundation that I really like. This is the Infallible 24 Hours Matte Foundation. And I have this foundation from Makeup Forever. This is the matte velvet, but it's the old version. I don't like this foundation. This is full because it's way too dark. And I do not use it on my clients ever again. I don't like them. Okay, and the biggest pants I use a lot is this one from Katrin Haruta and I have uh, 8 of them and also I use this one from NYX and I really like them. I also have some glitters from the same uh, from NYX and I also use these ones from Inglot. I really like them. I have the body sparkles, I have the uh, pure pigments and I have this blue one and this is what it's actually in my makeup kit I hope you like it and before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, hit that ring bell button this way you will be notified every time I'm posting a new video and if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up okay thank you so much for watching and I, uh, I will see you in my next clip kisses bye